a big group. You're all intending to be architects? That's good. They used to say in the first year that um, if you look to the person on your left and you look to the person on the right, they'd be gone Today. in a few years. So there's something wrong here, and it has a lot to do with sustainability and the use of resources, and it's something you as architects in the future are going to have to deal with this significantly. To say that really what is at stake are not drawings and plans right, of a site, but ideas about the future of this region. Season's greetings from the new Robert H. Timmy Center. When I first joined the USC family, I was fond of saying success rides on time, success rides on moments in time. Here are seven moments of time that I'd like to share with you, past and future. The new Robert H. Timmy Architectural Research Center was opened on the October 30th, 2007. For those of you who weren't there, what did you miss? What is this new place? This is our new home for graduate studies, the legacy of our former dean, Robert Timmy. Here, atop Watt Hall, students from all over the world in architecture, landscape architecture, building science, and historical preservation will come together with professors engaged in advanced research, from open studios to sky gardens to exhibition spaces. This is a laboratory for future design leaders, a place of permanent revolution, a place where the world come mingled and reimagined. As I have said before, Los Angeles is on a double frontier, both America and Pacific Rim. We're reaching afar to new territories and new cultures. This summer, in fact, we began a program never attempted before in the contemporary history of advanced education the Delta Investigation and Inquiry Program. We call it DEEP for short. What's behind this strange acronym? It is a graduate level research studio program that each year identifies a new problem in urbanism around the world. Every year, we'll be joining with other two world-class universities to investigate. This summer, the site was in Hainan, a tropical island in China, and we were joined by Tungji University in Shanghai and New York's Columbia University in a place 13,000 miles away where the average income is still 2,000 a year. The school was invited to study the problems of green urbanism in one 15 square kilometer area. This is just the beginning. We're exploring new opportunities and challenges in Mumbai, Vietnam, and Beijing. This, of course, all coming on the heels of our existing study abroad programs, Como Italy, Sun France, and Tropics of Malaysia. The School of Architecture also participated in the 2007 Shenzhen Hong Kong by City Biennale, of which I was privileged to be the chief curator with 130 entries from around the world. Among this was the School of Architecture's themed studio from the Hainan trip, a modern vertical city named Echo Tower, and the Los Angeles River studio. The theme of the event is City of Expiration and Regeneration, which explores the vitality of cities. After 90 years of life, vitality is a subject that the School of Architecture knows really well. As much as we want to go around the world, sometimes if we can go to the international scene, we bring the scene back to home. Through such visiting lectures as the Netherlands' Ram Kulas, Korea's Min Su Cho, or Argentinian-born Cesar Pelle. This past year's lecture series has also included such American landscape giants as visiting lecturer Laurie Oller. There are two significant anniversaries this year. The first one is the Gamble House Centennial. It has been 100 years since the firm of Green and Green built the house for one of the heirs to Procter and Gamble. And this year you will be hearing more about a new international travel exhibition 
on the works of Green and Green, showcased and initiated in the Huntington Library. It is also the 50th anniversary of USC Architectural Guild. For 50 years, the Guild offered the primary connections between the student and the future colleagues. Through such things as the mentor program, firm fair, and resume workshop, you will be hearing more about celebrations ahead in 2008, the Parkinson's Spirit of Urbanism Award, and the Distinguished Alumnus Award, all in coming weeks. At the School of Architecture, we pride ourselves on honoring the past, inventing the future. What future are we inventing here? Things like the new Delta Shop, 1,500 square feet of digital media, computers, scanners, laser cutters, 3D modelers, you name it. By this time next year, we hope to have a new facility available for all students in either Harris or Whitehall. For students that are new to the school, what can they expect? Well, let's start with the semester on board. No, that's not a misprint. Instead of a semester abroad, the semester on board brings together elite architecture, planning, and development firms right here with the student in the program who will collaborate in research and investigations. That's short term. For the long term, we have envisioned new two initiatives, Center for Performative Environment, COPE, and Center for Design Operatives, CODU. Both this initiative will go beyond traditional how to build nice looking buildings to questions like why do we build and what are the consequences of our building. They say the building process is largely unchanged in 5,000 years. I'd like to challenge it and remedy it. To my new family, to all who have passed through this universal city, I wish you the best and a happy new year to you all.